dining rooms closed in an attempt to slow the spread of COVID-19. Fox 13 Sydney Glenn joins us with how those in the service industry are now trying to stay afloat. Sydney. Well, Kelly, I mean, you can imagine it's tough. Take a look around. I'm in downtown Salt Lake City. There's no one around here right now. I haven't seen anyone. And while places like Eva's Bakery are normally closed at this time, it was a similar scene earlier today in the middle of the day. The manager here tells me she's doing everything in her power to be able to keep their doors open. In a strangely quiet downtown, you can't miss the blue door. Eva's Bakery looks a little different these days. Instead of having guests dine in, now we're going to help them dine at home. That means more prepared foods like salads, breads, and baked goods. The changes don't stop in the nearly empty pastry case though. Hardest part definitely has been um, to have the best staff of my career and to not have any hours or money to give them. <laughs> Lexi Johnson is one of those who was told goodbye for now. I was very, I was just very upset. Heartbroken for more than just the loss of a paycheck. These are like all my friends. These guys are like another family to me. She stopped by to pick up her final tips, but had a hard time walking out. Most of the front of house employees aren't being scheduled right now. The ones in the back who make the stuff up here are doing whatever they can to keep working. That means some kitchen staff even becoming janitors. So much of the reason why we stayed open was because it, they wouldn't survive if we didn't. Each time someone walks through that blue door, this place can afford to keep the door open another day. The manager here is asking anyone who is able to please buy a gift card, not just for them, but for any local business to ensure that when this is all over, these businesses still have a future ahead of them. For now, live in downtown Salt Lake City, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah.